Welcome back. Well, people say with age comes wisdom, but age also comes with memory loss. Now, this is true, especially if you find yourself forgetting important dates or a name when making introductions. So here to tell us how to improve our memory is Dr. Michelle Anlakan, a consultant ne neurologist at the Medical City who specializes in memory disorders. Thank you for joining us and good morning, Doc. Good morning, Ginger. Okay, well, you know, people... Uh, joke around about you know forgetting things all the time or it's kind of a, a very um, easy excuse yes. uh, for, for a lot of things but when do you know I guess uh, my very first question is when do you know when you should really take memory loss uh, on a much more serious level well you really have to consult if your memory problem is going beyond what is normal mm -hmm. uh, what is normal is misplacing things mm -hmm. and forgetting to do stuff no? that is but normal sometimes we're not paying attention that's mm -hmm. the only problem. No? But when we say it's serious already, it means that there are some things that you cannot do because of this memory problem. If you're an accountant, you cannot be an accountant anymore. You can't do your balancing and mm -hmm. your accounting. Or if you're an anchor, you cannot MC anymore because of this memory problem. So those are impairments or disabilities that we watch out for. Mm -hmm. And that means that your memory problem is really serious. Mm -hmm. So for example, what if there's like, uh, you know, you're given a script, uh, for example, just because you, you mentioned being a, being an anchor or a host, you're given a script, you're told something, but you know, other things are going on in your head and uh, you totally forget forget or it just slips out i mean technically your work is being affected your work is being impaired but i mean how how do you know when it's really kind of uh uh, oh, I really should have, I really missed the boat on that one. <laughs> Usually, um, you really need to consult, yeah, when you have the impairments already. Mm -hmm. Does it happen um, more often, I guess? Or? Yes, if it's more often, if it's already causing you trouble, okay. like you're missing appointments and dates and napapagalitan ka na ng boss mo and <laughs> stuff like that. So that is really serious. Mm -hmm. I have had patients who are relatively young mm -hmm. who consult me for this and the most common problem is attention. Mm -hmm. They did not pay attention to what they were doing mm -hmm. or what they were thinking at the time. So because there's so many things going on, mm -hmm. we love to multitask and mm -hmm. it's not a very good thing for our brain. Right, I'm gonna raise my hand on that <laughs> one. It's not a good thing for our brain, but sometimes some jobs really uh, really demand that you multitask. Uh, how do you, um, how do you balance? What do you do then to to make multitasking or to to not have it have that serious of an effect on your memory loss? Well, if you really need to multitask, you, you should still pay attention. Okay. And you have to pay attention to your body also. Okay. First of all, you have to have a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. That's what most of us lack, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, relaxation mm -hmm. and exercise, mm -hmm. both physical and mental exercise. Mm -hmm. We love to exercise to get our blood flowing, but we also need to exercise our brains mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't do that mm -hmm. a lot of people don't use their brains. I'm just teasing them from myself probably included sometimes uh, what are some brain exercises that we can do uh, that are simple yet maybe will have big benefits down the line well, there are a lot of things you can do. First of all, you can engage in something different, okay. like crossword puzzles or Sudoku mm -hmm. or thinking out of the box experiences. But you know, if you are not a number person, a math person, then it's too late to start doing Sudoku. Mm -hmm. Then probably you're more of a language person. Mm -hmm. Then you can do more crossword puzzles and more. you read more books. You can just read the newspaper and discuss with your husband about it mm -hmm. or your friends. You can um, uh, walk, talk about political issues mm -hmm. then it gets your brain going mm -hmm. it keeps it from getting dull so make sure that we do something a day or a couple things a day that really stimulate our Correct. our brain and, and don't give everything to the secretary meaning mm -hmm. I've had patients who are so used to having good secretaries that they don't even know the date so that is a very wrong thing to do. That's you a great secretary. Still, <laughs> you should still be in control mm -hmm. and on top of things. Okay, well, doctor, you said something about you've had um, very young patients uh, before. Well, how young is, is young? And, uh, you know, um, it's a kind of a misconception sometimes, I guess, to think that with memory loss, I na ako, and everyone always kind of... Uh, um, uh, makes that makes that go with old age but 
you were saying you have young patients? Well, in the young, it's mostly the attention problem okay. that comes about. But in the relatively senior years, mm -hmm. yes, there is some mental decline as mm -hmm. we go along, but it should not be an excuse for us to keep forgetting things. Mm -hmm. no? But as, as I said, if there are already impairments or disabilities or things they cannot do, mm -hmm. it's really time to consult already. Mm -hmm. with, um, with older people uh, and say with their memory loss um, these are some some of the factors that might cause memory memory loss um, does it get aggravated if you're if you're more senior well yes because we think that when we are seniors already we are in retirement mode mm -hmm. meaning we are supposed to rest for mm -hmm. the rest of our life and that is not supposed to be good for mm -hmm. your brain because even if you are retired you should s engage yourself in activities mm -hmm. you should join book clubs or senior citizens club mm -hmm. you should be physically and mentally active okay so we shouldn't give way to just the fact that you know, we're Never. getting older <laughs> And, Never. Uh, we're supposed to be this way. Yes. I hope my mom's listening because I always kind of get uh, a little, a, a little upset. I always tell her, "Ma, you're forgetting this. Can you hear? You know, if if she does say something, she goes, yes. "Tumatanda na ako," and I'm like, "No, that's not an excuse." But there I, are really things that you can do. You know, uh, there is scientific basis for ballroom dancing mm -hmm. because as you dance, you have to keep the steps in mind. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, it it can stimulate your brain. Aside from ballroom dancing, you can learn new languages. So those are things that you can do to okay, try so to stay off plus, dementia. I, and plus, at a at an older age, um, there are steps that can still maybe backtrack it. Would that help? Would these exercises actually backtrack your memory loss or your um, the way that your brain is working, or is it just going to kind of stop it at where it is status quo? Well, the main thing we want is to prevent it. Okay. So the earlier that you do it, the better. Okay. All right. Well, you mentioned a lot of things. Are there some foods that we should take into uh, consideration eating, even if we don't like them, just because they they might help with our memory? An antioxidant-rich diet is very good. And I don't mean going out of your way mm -hmm. to buy stuff. You just eat your normal vegetables mm -hmm. and your fruits, and that should be okay. Because the normal Filipino eats very little of these things. Mm -hmm. It should be many, many portions a day. So your plate should be more than half full of vegetables and fruits and not meat or mm -hmm. carbohydrates. What kind of uh, fruits? Uh, should they be the really sweet? I mean, are there specific? The more uh, colorful ones more color are the better ones. Okay. And that overall just kind of helps with our vitamin level. Yes. Vitamin so you don't, need, you don't so really need to take extra. Mm -hmm. If you make this a habit of eating the fruits and vegetables which are healthy, then mm -hmm. you don't need to take extra vitamins. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Dr. Say for someone who wants to consult with uh, memory loss, what's some of the things that they should be prepared for, I guess, before they even come in for a consultation? This is really starting to impair my work. I'm really starting to get a little bit freaked out with my memory loss. Uh, what should they expect uh, when they go in, go in for a consultation? Well, when they come, they should expect a lengthy history taking. Mm -hmm. Like, we really try to ask how it started, mm -hmm. how it developed, how much it is impairing your life. Mm -hmm. And then later on, depending on this interview or history taking, then we take it a step further. We may do some screening on you and we can recommend you for longer tests depending on how you do. Mm, okay. Um, I'm just curious because whenever you know, kind of hit your head yes. or you have, um, you have a nice little bump on your head, did a number on your yes. skull there, yes. does that actually affect uh, your memory? Does it affect the way that your, your uh, brain works somehow or is that just a very shallow misconception? No, a few, a few decades ago they said it was all right, mm -hmm. but now not anymore. Wow, any okay. head injury or any head bump mm -hmm. uh, may actually increase your risk for memory problems later on mm, okay. so we don't want to bump our heads mm -hmm, mm -mm. Yeah. but in case you do what sh should you go and see a neurologist right away well as a general rule yes especially if you lose consciousness mm -hmm. because that means that the impact was quite big mm -hmm. it was massive so you have to see us because sometimes you form blood clots inside your brain mm -hmm. it's not a good thing so yeah okay well uh, doctor is there a website maybe before they go into a consultation or well, once they do go into a consultation that they can that people can find out more about memory loss well there are a lot tips to, the, tips to uh, prevent 
there are a lot on the internet mm -hmm. but you have to be wary about it you have mm -hmm. to screen it properly mm -hmm. the US uh, NIH websites are usually good mm -hmm. um, in terms of these things and tricks to help your memory mm -hmm. always get organized number mm -hmm. one be organized Try. Just try. <laughs> you can just try. And then number two, pay attention. Mm -hmm. If you keep those two things in mind, then you will be able to prevent this thing that we dread, mm -hmm. <laughs> dementia. Pay attention and get, get organized. organized. All right. Well, those are great tips. Uh, Dr. Enda, you're... Are you open for a consultation or is there a, uh, a website that maybe people can go on and, and get to know when your schedule? I'm at the Medical City. Mm -hmm. I hold clinic every afternoon, Monday to Saturday. Okay, yes. great. Hopefully Monday through Saturday. I hope no one forgets that uh, <laughs> yes. so that they can uh, go in for a consultation. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll see you again.